Hello everybody, my name is Casey, and this is part number three of Good Old Honest Abe, Abraham Lincoln. And when we left off, he was researching his own fate. That's right, his own fate. The big question is, did he find anything on it? I assume he would. But I guess we're about to find out. What? Unbelievable. Your library stocks nothing but romance novels and books about something called Sudoku. Oh yeah, I remember that. I am so bad at that. Absolutely horrible. Kid, you gotta tell me what happens. Am I in danger? Do I die? Because I will do literally anything to prevent that. Nothing is more precious to me than my own life. And I will gladly let the South win the war if it meant five more seconds of precious, precious living for Honest Abe. History remembers what a huge coward I was, right? Uh, no. We have a pretty high opinion of you. Great. Listen. I'm going to get this beard trimmed. While I do, I suggest you seriously reconsider telling me the truth. Oh. Are you threatening a little girl? Come on. You're one of the greatest American presidents mm -hmm. ever. Mm -hmm. Threatening a little girl, I tell ya. So anyways, off he goes. For a full hour to trim his beard. And I just want to see if the hair place has an animation. It does it! Not even an animation for the spinny doodle. I have no idea what it's called by the way. I think it's a barber pole maybe? But I like the term spinny doodle better. So I'm going with it. Spinny doodle. I'll have to remember that one. Oh yeah, I accidentally pressed the quest because I'm stupid. I was just clicking everything else around it and I totally forgot. He was at the barber shop. Getting a trim. Mr. Lincoln, I'll make you a deal. I'll tell you what happens to you if, as one of history's greatest debaters, you give a few pointers to Springfield Elementary's debate team. Sure. Make your president jump through hoops before you answer a simple question. How patriotic of you. I'm precocious. It's not a crime. Well, when I get back, I'm going to make it one. We'll call it the Lisa Simpson Amendment. Mm -mm. The debate team for 12 hours. That is a long, long day. Like, seriously long. Mm -hmm. Number one, what the heck are they going to talk about for 12 hours? And number two, oh, I hope they have their juice boxes to keep them awake. It looks like a bunch of other characters have decided to check out the debate. But the big question is, did Lisa keep her promise? I guess we're going to find out. Okay, Lisa's up. Okay, Mr. Lincoln, a deal's a deal. Here's what happens to you on the night of April 14th, 1865. You know what? If what I've seen of Springfield is typical of the rest of America in 2014, let some other sucker preserve this crappy union. I'm staying here. I'm afraid we can't let you do that, Mr. President. Yeah, well, good luck catching me. Lincoln away. Hmm. Okay, what? He's making a run for it. 
Hmm. And is he actually running or what is he doing? Okay, so there's no animation. Is he actually going... Uh... Okay... Well, how the hell is that making you run for it when he's going to his own place? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. It's just gang up on him. Oh, that makes no sense whatsoever. Seriously, if you have to make a run for it, you don't normally go back to your own place. The good news is the balloons are still there, so maybe they will work this time if you get caught. Maybe they'll cheer him up. We'll have to see. What? There we go. Alright, Mr. Honest Dave, what are you going to say? What? Man, that Lincoln guy is fast. Did you see where he went, pal? Uh, no. By my top hat, mustacheless beard, and frock coat, I haven't seen anyone matching the description of this Abraham Lincoln. Hey, you're the him I was talking about. Drat, I need to modernize my look. Modernize my look. Modernize? That's not even a word. We're gonna make Abraham Lincoln attempt to blend in. Hmm. If there's no animation for him making a run for it, then I highly doubt there'll be an animation for this, right? Let's see. Hmm. Oh, 24 hours? Wouldn't he want to run away for, for the same amount of time? I don't know. Some of these times that EA come up with, they're just kind of mind-boggling. There we go. Let's see if there's an animation. Hmm. <laughs> oh my goodness. It's weird, Al Yankovic. Good day, kind sir. I wish to purchase a beverage from your fine establishment. I have never encountered such a polite customer. I can only assume there's something deeply wrong with you. Please do not kill me. You've got it all wrong. I'm just an average American from this time period. Like everybody, I enjoy man caves, candy, and debilitating laziness. Wait! I know you. You're the man from the take a penny, leave a penny tray. That actually is pretty clever. Curses! I must remember to be as rude and as boorish as the rest of these horrible people. 24 hours. As Weird Al Yankovic. That guy's awesome. If you guys have never heard any of his songs, I highly recommend one song. And that would be Jurassic Park. Whoopsie. It's actually Yankovic. I think he accidentally said Yankovic. So I'm sorry. Sorry to all the Yankovic fans out there. Jurassic Park is a good song and he has a lot of other parodies as well. So check him out. He's a legend. Anywho, you might notice Mr. Burns conveniently has the quest. Unfortunately, this is the final quest coming up. I don't want it to end. It's been a blast. If it isn't my boyhood pal, Abraham. Fancy meeting you here. Hiya, Monty. Could you keep your voice down? I'm kinda lying low. He's on a nickname basis with Mr. Burns. Of course. Say, didn't something happen to you at a theater a few years back? I thought I heard that. <laughs> a few years back? That's good stuff. No, I'm fine now. Listen, do you think I can hole up at your place for a few years just until the heat dies down? 
I suppose that could be arranged. If someone would have taken interest in the large pile of unsplit rails in my backyard. It's a deal. Alright. So the final quest for eight hours. Going back to where it all started. Mm -hmm. At least splitting rails. So we should be going to Mr. Burns' place. Should be fun times ahead. Duh, that's... <laughs> Where's he going? That's not where Mr. Burns lives. The quest specifically said he was going to go to Mr. Burns' house to lay low for a few years. This isn't Mr. Burns' house. So for the third time, he decides to go back to his cabin. Oh my goodness. Well, even though that's a pretty silly mistake, it doesn't diminish anything. This was such a fun quest line. I just wish it hadn't ended. But that is going to wrap it up, guys. Abraham Lincoln, very cool character. If you enjoyed this video, hey, you know what to do. It's all good. As usual, my name is Casey, and I will see you on the next one.